Hi, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to talk about lamb chops. Now I know lamb chops are very expensive. For these three right here, it cost me $7.74 at Publix. Now how do you tell a good lamb chop from a bad lamb chop? See this along right here? Fat. The more fat in the lamb chop, the more tenderer it is. Okay, now to cook it properly, we're going to cook it on the stove. Yeah. I've got some vegetable oil heating on here on number five. And what we're going to do is we're going to pre-season the lamb chops with seasoned salt, black pepper, and some basil for added taste. All right. We're actually going to sprinkle it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to count this. sprinkle over the lamb chops mm -hmm. with all of them. And everybody knows Chris. Ah. And then we're going to pat them like this. We're going to pat Chris like that, yeah. All right, then we're going to turn them to the other side. This isn't a sauna. They didn't pay for it. This is a luxury because it's just not something <laughs> that we're going to have very often because it's way too costly. But, but as you all know, dry it's great for the show. Okay, now, you see how you put your hand over it like this? You can see if it's hot. And then you're going to put your lamb chops in. And One, for pain. two, three, and we're going to do what's called sear them. Okay. Then we're going to get some imperial. So if we want to add some butter flavor to it, we want to add some actual butter to it. Then put a couple of little pats of butter like that to give it some more flavor. All right. Now, you see how these pork chops are very thick? See? You don't want pork chops any thinner than this. See? This is like three quarters of an inch thick to give it more flavor. And we want to cook it three to five minutes on that side. Then we're going to turn them over when they fully see it and cook them three to five minutes on the other side. Then after you've thoroughly cooked your lamb chops, and you remove them from the heat and you let them sit a minimum of three minutes so they don't lose any of their juices before you cut them. That's right. All right, now, so I told you that. I'm going to see you when it's done. No, don't see her. Hi, guys. I'm Chris. Yeah. Just dodge it. Just dodge it. Nobody All looks. right, see how these look? These are nice and done. See the bones pull back a little bit? And we just pull them off, so we're gonna let that rest three minutes, and we're gonna just leave these to sit. Yeah, See how good. the lamb has an unusual flavor to it, so you wanna don't want to eat it undercooked, and you so don't want to get it dry. Take the right so I got this. I'll do it. Chris is gonna do the first I'll, taste. I'll risk it. So see how it's done completely? Oh, that's done. Yep. And lamb's very expensive, so it's got done small, so. And I'm gonna take a taste test. And you don't wanna cut off the fat, you wanna leave the fat in when it comes to lamb because that's what gives it the flavor and the juiciness. You know what else? See how good that looks, see? Mmm, mm mm mm. So, what's your opinion, Chris? Ah, uh, mm -hmm. you know what it is right now? You want to know what it is, yeah. huh? Yeah? And there you have it. Chris loved it. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Trying to one up it. Lamb chops. And as always, thank you for watching. The fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner, and we see sparkled it up. Wait, before you do that, the fun did end once. Thank you for watching, and as always, the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. We appreciate all of our viewers and all of our subscribers. Feel free to share, feel free to subscribe. Hugs and kisses from my kitchen to yours. This is we a great kitchen. Thank you for it's watching, everybody. It's a set. Don't, don't believe it.